All right, uh, so this video is just about the template system in the Scorpion engine. So this is a uh, brand new feature. Uh, so what it is, is it's a system that allows you to place actors at exact X and Y coordinates on the map instead of 16 by 16 tile offsets. It allows you to overwrite actor variables, control settings, and timer events per actor instance. It uses Tile's built-in template system for objects, and it's, so it's brand new, so it's prone to bugs, future changes, future upgrades. Uh, there might be more features coming for it soon, or some of the features there might be changed or removed. And it requires Scorpion Engine uh, 22.8, so that's um, currently an experimental. But the public release of 22.8 and all future versions will contain the uh, template system. So um, let's just quickly go into the um, my sample project here, uh, the Gothamania demo. If I edit the map, uh, what I've got down here, as you can see, I've got a list of templates. Um, now, one thing you've got to be careful of is the templates directory needs to be set manually. It's not going to automatically detect where the um, where the templates are for your project, and that's because um, Tiled assumes that you know you've got multiple projects and multiple games that all use the same templates. That's not going to be true with Scorpion Engine game, of course. But it's easy enough just to go. Um, choose the templates folder. So you just want to go to your game project, and then there's a new templates folder right there. Uh, then we can see in here we've got our objects. So what I'm going to do is, so I've already got the player there, but the player is a, um, the player is an actor tile. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of um, this here. So that's a spawner for the enemy. So I'll get rid of that so it doesn't get in our way. Um, <clears throat> Now, I have to drag this onto a... So, you see, if I try to drag it on the objects layer, it doesn't work. It has to be on a... Um, sorry, an actual... Uh, a tiled objects layer. So, all Scorpion ma uh, engine maps have at least one called events. You could add more if you want, but we'll just add it to events. So, let's just drag a hero on there, and we can... Uh, position him anywhere we want, so we will put him right there for now. And let's add a second one, but we're going to make some changes to our second one. So let's uh, put him down there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this player two. So we're going to set our control to two. Um, but we also want this uh, player to destroy itself after. 10 seconds. So 50 frames times 10 seconds, that's 500. And our uh, yield destination is going to be destroy actor. So you'll be able to use any code block, and that will override the spawn, the usual on spawn event uh, for the actor. And we can also, uh, this isn't well tested, but we should also be able to override all of our uh, custom var variables as well as the actor tag for each of our instances. So we can switch between that. I haven't overridden any of them on the original one, and so we want that one to just inherit the default control settings. But this one, we want it to be controller 2, and then after uh, 500 frames, which is 10 seconds, we want it to be destroyed. So let's save that, and uh, let's run it. I'll just check that our, yep, uh, so we've got two joysticks set, um, port one is keyboard, keyboard layout A, port two is keyboard layout B, we'll leave that as is, just wait for the game to start. There we go, we've got our two players, oops, let's get rid of that one, that, that enemy. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, we've got our two players, and in a few seconds, hopefully that second one will be destroyed.
Um, I think the destroy timer might have been upset by um, uh, that enemy running into it. So I'll make make a real quick change. Uh, let's get rid of that one there, uh, and let let's make it instead of um, let's make it three seconds. So that's one fifty. Uh, yep, yeah. so one thing you need to be aware of is if you use like a, a long delay, then that will mean that anything that interrupts that delay could um, prevent this from running. But if you just want to override the on spawn event to make it do something else, like maybe you want it to spawn facing a different direction, something like that, then you know you could just set that to zero and then set the destination to the uh sport the the code block that you want to run immediately okay so let's give that another go hopefully it'll work this time Yep, there we go. So after three seconds, our second player uh, deleted itself. So the, um, I think the, f the reason why I didn't work the first time is the timer was interrupted by when the player was attacked by the zombie. But in general, if you've got a time delay set on your templated object, then that should uh, run as soon as the... Um, as soon as that time is up. Okay, and I think that's about it. Um, I'm quite excited about this feature, and um, uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe um, maybe it'll get expanded with uh, more options in future.